Hello everyone, my name is Code Freak. Welcome to my channel. Please be sure to like and hit the subscribe button below. In this video, I'm going to address a technique I sometimes use when drawing music. If you haven't already seen my tutorial series on what drawing music is and what it involves, please check out the link to it that I provide in the description below. In this video, I will assume you are already familiar with the method of drawing music I have presented. The term I use to describe this technique is off-the-grid music composition. Broadly speaking, this means turning off the grid snap feature in the music making software you're using. This is the feature that causes MIDI and audio to snap to specific spots in the track that's being worked on, like this. In order for a musical piece to be truly off-the-grid, this feature has to be turned off the entire time the piece is being worked on. Going off the grid may be simple in concept, but it drastically changes the workflow. To understand how, we're going to look at some pros and cons that come up as a result of this approach. In my experience, going off the grid makes the process of writing music more organic. One way it does this is it allows for more mistakes. This may sound like a bad thing, but in reality, it isn't. Here's an example. Let's say you're drawing a sequence of notes in the piano roll view or MIDI editor in your music making software. While doing so, you accidentally draw a note in a place you did not intend to. At that point, you are faced with a choice. Either delete or alter this note to fit what you intended, or decide to build off of it. In this way, you could consider each mistake as an opportunity for you to make a choice, much like in a situation where improvisation is involved. Since going off the grid generally allows for many more mistakes than with grid snapping turned on, it therefore gives you more choices while creating. Another way the writing process becomes more organic when going off the grid is regarding the song's tempo. Since nothing created in the project automatically snaps to a given spot on the grid within a song, any note created in the piano roll view or MIDI editor could potentially change the overall tempo. This means you no longer have to set the song's tempo from the beginning or make specific changes within a project in order to change the speed of a song. You can instead change the tempo by feel. A third way the writing process becomes more organic when going off the grid involves certain kinds of data used within a song. One example of this is with automation envelopes. Rather than having the timing of each point on an envelope be restricted to specific divisions along the project's time grid, the precision of a point's placement becomes the most precise possible within the software. Another example is with certain MIDI properties, notably the pitch wheel property. You may remember in part 3 of my tutorial series regarding drawing music, I spoke about how to use the pitch wheel property and how the precision, or the gap between each pitch, changes based on the grid snap setting. If you're going off the grid, the precision of the pitch wheel setting, like with automation, becomes the most precise the software can make it. All of these reasons make going off the grid a great fit for experimentation as well as creating music of certain genres, such as orchestral music or certain subgenres of rock or jazz. Although going off the grid has some great benefits, there are other issues you should be aware of before attempting it. One of the aspects of going off the grid that should be considered is that using a traditional staff view within the software is significantly more time consuming and takes much more effort than when using the piano roll view. This is particularly noticeable when you have drawn notes that generally don't match the tempo of a project. Here's an example. As you can see, the project tempo is set to 120 beats per minute. However, when I play back this melody with the metronome activated, the music very clearly does not match up with the tempo of the project. The staff view in Cakewalk bases the notation it shows on the current tempo, meter, and key settings of the project. Since the process of going off the grid inherently ignores these settings, the staff view will not show the notes properly. You should also be aware that, due to these factors, printing sheet music via the staff view is also greatly affected when going off the grid. 
Another thing to keep in mind when going off the grid is that copying and pasting MIDI becomes much more strenuous and sonically more obvious due to the organic nature of the approach. It is still feasibly possible, but I personally would discourage it unless you want to make small variations to the MIDI notes. Some of the reasons why I say this are that it is more likely to negatively change the flow of a song, and it reduces the number of mistakes you make. As I mentioned before, mistakes are also opportunities. The most upfront of all the issues with going off the grid is that it reduces the ability to get a perfect beat. If you decide to go off the grid, be aware of the timing of the mini notes as you create. Depending on what you want when you draw your song, you will have to consider how important the consistency of the beat is to your creation. In much of dance music, particularly various forms of electronic music and some forms of metal, a beat tends to be one of the most important, if not the most important, aspect of that genre. Note that successfully creating a piece entirely off the grid could vary wildly based on both the software used and the skill or experience of the artist. Make sure that you are fully comfortable with your process before attempting this method of writing. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my audio drawings and audio speed paint videos where you can see my music as it is being written, and stay tuned for my upcoming off-the-grid compositions. See you guys next time!